Peace everybody, it's Don Pedro from Noble Syndicate with another D5 tutorial. Today we'll be going over a protocol that I've been using lately known as Smardex. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to make a disclaimer that I'm not affiliated with Smardex in any way. I'm not being paid or compensated to create this content. Um, the reason why I create these videos is basically to inform those that are new to DeFi on how to use uh, protocols in this space. Um, with that being said, I am not a financial advisor either, so please don't misconstrue anything that I say for financial advice. This video should strictly be taken for informational purposes. So what is SmartX? SmartX is what's called an AMM or automated market maker. Um, which basically allows users to trade tokens permissionlessly and also provide um, digital assets into liquidity pools in order to farm rewards in the form of the SDEX token. What makes SmartX different from any other AMM in the space, or why would somebody use SmartX as opposed to Uniswap or any other AMMs? Uh, is the fact that SmartX is introducing uh, what they call volatility vaults. All right, volatility vaults are SmartX version of LP or liquidity pools. And what makes them different from the typical liquidity pool is an algorithm that the SmartX developers um, created, which they they have coined the term fictive reserves. And what fictive reserves does is um, basically negate the effects of impermanent loss in most cases. And they also say that in some cases it'll create what the, what is known as impermanent gains for the LP user. Now, if one is uh, pretty technically savvy, you can go into their documentation and read the white paper and it'll give you information on how this algorithm works. But sorry, that's the wrong link. Documentation. White paper. But being honest with you, reading through this is, uh, like I said, extremely technical. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, mathematical equations. So maybe to the layperson, this might not help them in any way. But, you know, if you're good in, with the technicals, it's a, a nice breakdown of how that algorithm works. Um, you also have... Uh, you know, blog page, you can read up on the, the SmartX blog. They have information there where they, they release documents on what they're doing, what's going on with the protocol. You have the smart contracts. You can read their smart contracts. The addresses, all these are in the docs. You have, well, they even have openings for jobs. Never even looked into them. Huh? Yeah. If you're an engineer, you can even apply to work for, join the, the SmartX team, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing I like about the protocol is the fact that they are, they do have bug bounties open, so everything's open source. They have bug bounties where basically they pay white hat hackers to try to exploit the protocol. And if they find any exploits, they get rewarded a bounty. So the SmartX, that's kind of reassuring. The SmartX protocol is constantly being attacked by white hackers. So which which makes it in the long term a uh, battle tested protocol. Right now it's only been out for uh okay it was deployed in on March 3rd, 2023. So about a year now. Yeah a little a little over a year as of the time of this video. 
They also have uh, some audits. They have a Trailer Bits audit, which is, you know, good news. If anybody knows about audits, Trailer Bits is one of the top tier auditing firms in the in the DeFi space. So that's good news. Um, they have a Paladin audit. Um, quite a few things. So as far as... Um, it, it seems on, on the surface that Smartex is is serious about uh, security, but time will tell how effective they are at that. So let's look at the SDEX token and a couple um, some of the tokenomics of SDEX. The main token or the primary token of the SmartX protocol is the SDEX token. Users can earn by staking the SDEX token on mainnet or by um, farming with the SDEX token using the various volatility vaults on the protocol. Um, it has some pretty interesting uh, tokenomics, some pretty interesting metrics. One that caught my eye is the fact that uh, SDEX has a fixed supply of 10 billion tokens and about 8.3 billion of those tokens are already in circulation. So um, token unlocks, massive token unlocks, creating sell pressure on a token is not an issue for the SDEX token. Um, another interesting thing is that um, no new SDEX tokens can ever be minted. The only way to mine uh, the remaining supply of SDEX is by uh, providing liquidity on the SmartX protocol and farming the token. The SDEX token is also made deflationary by a burning mechanism that the SmartX protocol uses. So on all markets outside of mainnet, what SDEX does is it, it collects a, a fee from every swap made on the protocol. A portion of the fees made from these trades are used to buy back SDEX off of the market. And what it does, what the smart contract does is burn these SDEX tokens, uh, effectively lowering the supply, the circulating supply of SDEX tokens. Now, because the SDEX token has a fixed supply, what this uh, in theory does is over time, it's going to put buy pressure on the token, which can lead to price increases. Okay, so this, this burning mechanism only happens on secondary markets. On Ethereum mainnet, what the protocol does with a portion of the fees earned through swaps is buy back SDEX off of the market. And instead of burning this SDEX, instead of burning the SDEX that it, it buys off the market, what it does is allocates it to SDEX stakers as well as um, LP providers in the form of rewards. Another point that the uh, SmartX devs uh, like to emphasize is that all these mechanisms are totally um, automated through smart contracts and are not do not have to be uh, conducted manually. So um, th from reading through their documentation and it seems that uh, decentralization is pretty important to the SmartX developers. So I think that was a good general overview of, of what the SmartX protocol is and um, how it works. Now we'll get into how you can actually use the protocol. So just like any other AMM has a, you know, swap feature, you have a liquidity button, which is for creating the, the LP tokens. You have a farming button, which shows you, you know, what farms are on the blockchain, particular chain you're on, Arbitrum. Each chain has different uh, pools. You have uh, the staking button, which you can only stake on Ethereum mainnet. And you also, they also have a bridge for bridging tokens uh, between blockchains via Wormo. I've never actually used the SmartX bridge, but 
it's there. Uh, today, I'll be showing you how to basically supply uh, assets into the volatility vaults. All right, today we'll be doing it on the Polygon chain. And the particular vault that I'm interested in today is the CAS STEX vault, which is paying out a 48.81% APR broken down into uh, 1.76 swap fees, 47.05% um, farming fees, which is paid out in the STX token. Okay, so first thing you, we have to do is supply liquidity to the CAS STX liquidity pool. Typing Casper here. In the bottom is STX. So on this page, you have the, the vault, and you have a, a nice little infographic that shows the impermanent loss and impermanent gains. And it compares it to STX to Uniswap. And it also has the CAS STX LP price on here uh, as time goes. So it seems that from this data that as Uniswap drops or, or um, impermanent loss increases in Uniswap, it's always less on the SDEX volatility vault. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the metrics down here as well of the performance over time so well, by their metrics it says that the SmartX AMM outperforms Uniswap when it, it goes when it compares to an impermanent loss by about 2.17% but all that aside let's create the LP token so I think I'm going to put in about $50 worth Let's see, we'll max out our, our STEX, which I have about $25 worth of STEX. And it'll split it up 50-50 proportionally automatically. And we'll add liquidity. Let's approve this transaction. So now we have the CAS STX LP token, which it shows uh, here, your balance, which I have about $50 worth of the CAS STX token. It tells me the reward breakdown that I should get in LP fees, which is 1.76%. And it shows my share of the total pool, which is about 0.025%, All right. So now that we have the LP token, our next step would be to go to the farming tab, click on the CAS STEX farm, and we're going to stake our LP token to receive the remaining uh, staking rewards, which is in the form of the STEX token. So we'll click stake LP. We're gonna stake 100% of the LP in and then we have to uh, approve an approval transaction. Which will maximize out. Once approval is confirmed, now the next transaction will be to stake the LP. Everything seems correct. We'll sign that 
transaction. And there we go. So now we have the CAS STX LP staked on the SmartX protocol and I'll be earning rewards in real time. As the STX rewards accure, uh, in order to harvest them, you just click this button, approve the transaction. And again, naturally you wouldn't want to approve a transaction that costs more in gas fees than uh, you're rewarding. That'd be counterproductive. But yeah, it's pretty simple. If you stick around this long, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful. Um, if anybody has any questions, just reach out to me via comments and I'll definitely get back to you. Peace.